of YouTube Pipers. JC here. <laughs> Daughter's out here running around. Catching a smoke in between the storms. Um, it's been raining here all morning. And uh, had some tornado, not a warning, but um, a watch earlier. We just got a little bit of wind coming through us all. In my house anyways. But uh, around the area. Pretty bad storms. But, um, yeah, smoking some, one of my favorites actually. Got a lot of favorites, I know. But, yeah. But definitely from, I mean, here in the future, I will try a couple of things here and there, but I'm mainly just focusing on stocking up on my favorites. So this is one that, uh, see how humid it is out here? The jar is already starting to kind of get some weird stuff on it. So Dan Tobacco Salty Dogs. Um, actually, I just, first time I had this stuff was uh, either late last year or early this year. But... I liked it so much I ordered more of it. So, um, worked out pretty good because I'm already, I've already smoked through, yeah. or you can see, well, maybe you can. I kind of cut it up and other things, but I've already smoked through half a block and it comes in these 50 grand little plugs, not blocks, but plugs. And it comes in a pouch. Just like, you know, like one of those little, uh, plastic sealed pouches. And my daughter in the background. She's wired up, been inside all morning. But uh, this is just the label from the pouch. So, but uh, I'd have to say it's the best pouch tobacco I've ever had. Yeah, it's it's the best pouch tobacco I've had. But uh, this stuff to me is just, it's very, very rich for a vapor. Um, the description, they got some guys on the front that look like they're on a, you know, maybe buck, some buccaneers or something that pirates, per se, are on the boat. Um, and I can see people smoking this back in the day. Because it's just a rich plug tobacco. Um, it's got just enough sweetness to it. Um, it's got like a brown sugar type of molasses -y definitely flavor to me. Um, on the retro head, you get a little spice. It's not a lot of spice. I guess I didn't describe it, did I? It just says Navy style plug. I didn't even look up what it was. I just know it's really good. I think it's just like a vapor plug. Because it definitely, you know, tastes like it's got a little bit of freak in there. But the Virginias and the way they, I guess they steam the plug, I guess, or something. Hot press it. What it seems like anyways. But it's got a little bit of tanginess to it. Like I said, a little bit of sweetness, um, a little bit of sourness in there too for some reason. It's like sweet, tangy, sour. Definitely got some real rich brown sugar molasses-y notes. Um, it's very good. To me, this is very rich. Like this is one of those ones where, you know, I kinda, I kinda like smoking an after meal. It's not too, too strong. Um, but it's definitely, you know, got some strength. It is definitely medium plus. So it's over medium strength, in my opinion. It's definitely over medium in body. Um, as far as the flavor goes, it's three quarters of the way up the scale for sure on flavor. Um, so it's one of those that people that like the, the plug type stuff or like the ropes, you'd probably like this. It's, you know, it's got nice savoriness to it too. So it's, I don't know. It's just a very good tobacco. It's definitely something I reach for when I'm in the mood for just something satisfying, you know, that's just rich. But yeah, you can see it's, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit out here too. So. But yeah. I think I'm going to get off here when it's starting to pick up, head back in the garage. But let me know if you've had Dan Tobacco Salty Dogs. 
and what you think of it. And oh yeah, I was gonna say real quick before we get off here. This is how I prepare it. Let me put this down real quick so I don't drop my pipe. Um, I just take and I cut it up into slices and then break it up like this. So it's in like a, you know, like a, a broken form kind of. Um, it's kind of like a broken flake kind of form. Not quite like a ribbon cut. But then I just leave it in one of these tins because uh, it's very wet when you cut it. So it needs a little bit of dry time. Um, so just in here, it lets it breathe while I'm smoking it. So I just cut up enough to have, you know, four or five bowls of it and then smoke it in, you know, a month or so, two months or so time, depending on how I get to it. So anyways, this is a very, very good one, in my opinion, and it's definitely worth stocking up. Only thing I don't like about it is for a 50 gram pouch, it's very expensive. Like it's like 20 bucks, I think. Um, I think I paid like 18, 19 for this last time I bought it. But I just got one plug last time because I already got two from Estervals. Estervals, it was like nine dollars, but of course in Germany. But uh, Estervals, you got to pay for the shipping, but still nine bucks for the plug. If I'd known it was this good, I'd have got like five or six from Estervals. To be honest with you, but I didn't know. But I will say this though: even at the very expensive rate that we have to pay in the United States for it, the you know close to twenty dollars for a fifty gram pouch, it's worth it in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Let me guys know if you've had it, and uh, I'm going to head back in.